Is it okay to cry in front of your child? How do you deal with big emotions when you're going through depression, anxiety, disappointment, when you are parenting little kids? My name is Marcela Collier. I'm a parenting coach with High Impact Club. And then today I'm going to share my personal experience on how I'm successfully going through a difficult time, emotional difficult time in my life while raising twins. I'm going to be walking you through if it's okay or not to cry in front of our kids, the emotional effects in children when they see us going through hard emotions, how to help yourself during that time so you could still take care of your kids without feeling extra overwhelmed while you are going through this hard emotional situation. And stick with me to the end because I'm going to actually tell you what to say to children when they see you cry. If gentle parenting, parenting with understanding is something that you are interested in, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because every week I upload new parenting content. The last few days of my life have been tough, <laughs> tough emotionally. I had a really hard conversation with my mom and that left me uh, feeling disappointed, sad. I didn't feel my best and I still needed to take care of the twins. I still needed to warm up chicken nuggets. I still needed to, to take them to preschool. I still needed to brush their teeth. And all I wanted was to hide in my closet and cry. I share a little bit of my experience on IG stories and one of my followers, I encourage you to follow me there, Hyper Club, because I show you the behind the scenes of my life. And one of you said, I feel guilty when my children see me cry because if, when they try to do something to make me feel better, I don't want to put that emotional burden on them. Do you feel the same? Do you feel guilty if your children see you cry? Some other mom told me, I just want my children to remember me as the happy mom, as the mom that was happy, easy to be around. And as beautiful as it sounds, if you are that happy mom that never shows an emotion different than happiness to your child, you are robbing them the opportunity to learn and understand and learn from you how to deal with other emotions and what they look like and how to get through them successfully. Is it okay for your children to see you cry? Yes, it is okay. It is okay because we grew up, some of us grew up with the thinking that emotions that feel uncomfortable are bad. If you're sad, hide your tears. If you're disappointed, hide your disappointment your disappointment. You always have to look happy. You always have to look agreeable. And that's not of human beings. It is healthy, emotionally enriching for our children to see us experiencing a full range of emotions, not just happiness. I know that social media places a really high expectations on us mothers and it shows us the perfect mother that just gave birth and she's smiling and holding the baby and then you just gave birth and you just want to, to lay and die. <laughs> you don't even want to breastfeed and it makes you feel guilty. I should feel how I see that woman on Instagram and how come I don't feel that way. I highly encourage you to have it in your mind that what you see in social media is not the real life. Even though I was seeing everybody happy and enjoying motherhood the last two days on Instagram, on social media, I was giving myself grace and I was saying to myself, people are showing just the best self on Instagram, on social media for the most part. A few people are real there. I'm one of those that are real, but not everybody's like that. So I gave myself grace. And then when they saw me crying, when they saw me crying, I didn't hide it. And I didn't hide it because when you show your children that you're crying and then you hide it, you wipe off your tears and you're like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then, no, mommy's fine. Then what's happening is that they're going to see that and learn that emotions are bad that they should hide their own emotions as well. And they learn that pattern of behavior, of hiding emotions. And that creates adults that have a hard time asking for help. 
when they're really struggling, they really have a hard time reaching out for help because nobody should see them bad. Nobody should see them going through. Plus, it's the same thing. It makes them feel guilty or embarrassed for feeling the ways they're feeling. So maybe if they're disappointed because they just had a fight with their spouse and then they feel guilty there are people dying right now from COVID and I'm disappointed and sad over this little thing so they start downplaying their own feelings and their own reasons and that's not healthy parents that always show the happy face are parents that accommodate to make other people happy they are people pleasers most of the time and that is what teaches children how to be a people pleaser when you put yourself the face that other ones want to see. So it is healthy for you to express yourself and show emotions in front of your child. Now let's talk about limits. Limits to this. So I don't have a problem with my children seeing me cry. Now there was a point right when I was done with that conversation with my mom, I wanted to just cry hard and then it was a such high distress time for me that I didn't want to, I didn't feel like showing it to the twins would do them any good. They would have felt scared with that. So I just accessed my support system. My husband was around and then he said, no problem, go to your closet. And over there I cried hard. And then, yeah, because little kids don't understand. And if they see you like that, they're like, oh, it is not safe. So I don't want them to not feel safe. So let's talk about how you can help yourself. The first thing, if you know that it is a bad day, can you reschedule an appointment? Can you cancel some things in your calendar? It is okay if you don't have all the checklist crossed off. It is okay if children have more screen time than normal. It is okay if you just warmed up a TV dinner and that's their dinner. It is okay if things are not at this standard, at this level that you always do. Give yourself time to heal. It is okay if you're not totally happy the next day. It sometimes it takes time for you to turn it around, right? Not that you're going to dwell in your disappointment, in your in your feelings but to give yourself some room you don't have to be 100 percent the next day or in two days now why i promised how do you talk to your child when he sees you crying so the first thing is don't deny say yes mommy's crying the second to label the exact emotion that you're feeling so not just the general mommy's upset because that's not a feeling that's just a generalization of uncomfortable feelings but say i'm disappointed say i'm jealous like that they increase their feeling vocabulary and it is good for them after that explain to them what happened because if you don't they're going to think it is because of them Without details, if it is an adult problem, you don't have to tell them like your dad cheated on mommy and give them like a general thing of what happened. Like that, they don't blame themselves. And then the last thing, reassure them of safety and reassure them that you're going to be okay. Right now, mommy's feeling sad, but mommy is going to be okay. Mommy is going to feel okay. Like that, they're like, okay. I can relax. <laughs> if you've been dealing with depression, with anxiety, and it is a chronic thing, I highly encourage you to look for help, for professional help. I went through postpartum depression, and it wasn't until I reached out for professional help, that's when I started getting out of my depression. So sometimes you do need that professional help. Some other times, these little videos might help you. Or I have another video where you can go, it is right here, and it's going to tell you the things that it might help you become a more positive parent in this year. Okay? Keep parenting your children with understanding. I'll see you next time. Bye.